Well, an official good morning from Loft Mountain Campground in Shenandoah National Park. When I tell you we have been planning this weekend for months, I'm not kidding. It's, what's the date? It's October 22nd. We got here two days ago and we booked this campsite. I think end of July because it books up so quick because this is like peak fall leaves time although I will say I think we missed a little bit of the peak foliage there's still some colors but definitely the leaves are coming off the trees but it's still so gorgeous so I am so excited to show you around this campground because it's absolutely stunning we definitely had a few issues when we first arrived so I'll kind of explain everything later and give you a tour of the campground as well as show you around some of the most iconic hikes in this park I honestly didn't know a lot about Shenandoah coming into it and still I'm kind of figuring it out as I go but it is so much bigger than I realized I think to drive from one end to the other it takes at least like three hours it's about 70 miles but it's just like this the whole time we are located in more of the southern end of Shenandoah so yesterday we kind of made a big day of driving like an hour and a half north to hit two of the most famous peaks in the park okay we got up early at like 6 15 to go see the sunrise there ended up being so much that we had to do this morning and like it was freezing the propane ran out last night so it was like 50 degrees in the trailer and I obviously had to make coffee but it is 731 and the sunrise is at 729 so we can literally see it through the trees and we're racing to get to a viewpoint so we can appreciate its glory because it's racing at the speed limit and I'm so excited oh there's so many deer hi guys they're literally everywhere everywhere we already passed four and we've been in the car for like a minute another deer oh my god Come on, Mel. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so happy. <laughs> Hello. What do you think? Pretty. So cool. This is a pretty epic first morning, I gotta say. It's pretty nice. Wow. So we got about an hour until, or hour and 20, until we get to our first hike of the day. So we're doing two of like the must-do hikes. They're both around three miles-ish. We were gonna do old rag. We literally got time passes and everything, but Mojo, that's like one of the only ones that Mojo can't go on. And it, it's literally like an hour plus drive to get there. It takes at least five hours to do. So we can't leave him in the trailer that long. Plus it would be really sad because he is a hiking boy. So we're sacrificing because we love him so much. We're very excited for the day. Very much so. Yay. All right, Mojo, let's go on your hike. Come on. Up, up. Good boy. We made it to our first trailhead just around 9 a.m. to hike to Mary's Rock Summit. We actually took the north end of the Appalachian Trail to get there and the AT runs kind of all throughout this park. We've seen a lot of through hikers staying at this campsite actually, but the AT hikes here are stunning. So we wanted to make sure we did that. And there are several different routes to get to Mary's Rock Summit, but we chose to take the AT. And it just gives you this gorgeous panoramic view of Shenandoah Valley and all of the leaves. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's a fairly, you know, moderate hike. Um, I didn't find it too difficult, but it's about a 1,300 feet of elevation gain, about 3.4 miles total. And it's super dog friendly. And that is one thing I'll touch on a little bit later about this park is it's one of the only national parks that is very dog friendly. Obviously you have to keep them on leash, but most of the trails here allow dogs, which is why we were really excited to come and bring Mojo. And then right after we finished Mary's Rock Summit, we drove about 25 minutes south to Hawksbill Loop Trailhead. And this is by far one of the most famous trails in the park it's on like every must do list so we wanted to check it off for sure and while we were in that area and this was also a really really gorgeous just giant viewpoint and it actually leads you to the highest point in Shenandoah National Park it's about 3,600 feet at the very top but we were pretty exhausted after yesterday I'm not gonna lie so we kind of came back and just hung out at camp made some dinner outside hung out by the fire for a while and we kind of slept in a little bit well slept in 8 a.m. for us is kind of sleeping in we've just been kind of chilling at camp this morning we made a really yummy breakfast and actually if you would have watched my last video you would have seen we were at Mezzaluna Farm in Maryland and they had a chicken coop there and the host Keith actually brought us a full dozen eggs from their chicken coop so we made some really yummy eggs this morning it's about 10 40 now so we are going to head out on a couple more hikes today a lot easier and a lot closer to our campsite so if you're planning on coming to stay at Loft Mountain Campground these two trails are ones that are really easy to get to and they're not hard at all according to the reviews that I've read so let's go do that and I'll show you around all of those trails as well as show you the gorgeous Skyline Drive. I think it's 105 miles total. There is literally viewpoints like every half a mile. So if you come here and maybe you don't feel like doing a ton of hiking, you can still get some epic views just by driving along the Skyline Drive. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, let's go do some adventures and then we'll come back and I'll give you a little tour of our campground and the campsite where we're staying at. And there's a giant spider. 
crawling on my tripod. I love that for me. It's actually pretty warm today, so Mojo doesn't need a sweater, I don't think. Nope. Yesterday was freezing cold. <gasps> I'm scared. It's okay, we're good. Mojo, come on. Okay. Come on. All right. Let's do this. Well, it's clearly a Saturday, and this is a very popular but short hike. We found a parking spot on the side of the road, but it's um, very, very crowded. Parking pro right here. Hey, buddy. All right, so we're officially hiking to Black Rock Summit. This is a really easy, short hike, a mile total. So we should be getting there in like within the next few minutes. Well, I guess crossing the road is part of the trail. Also, I'm seeing some white markers, which means this is also part of the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> well, um, we've made an epic fail. We are not even close to the trail. Uh, okay, you don't just get to follow me around and expect that everything's perfect. Well, let me just show you where we are. See the blue dot? We are the blue dot and the, the red is the trail. So I think we went the opposite direction. So. Back we go. <laughs> Mozo, you're getting a bigger walk than expected. We have made it to Black Rock Summit. This is actually insane. It's like a giant hill of all of these massive rocks. I would say this might be the best view of the three that we've seen so far. It's like 300 degrees. Yeah. Or the view. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty epic and it's really an easy hike. So don't do what we did and we took a right instead of a left, but <laughs> otherwise it's great. It's literally like 0.5 miles to get here. Love it. We're off to the next one now, seven minutes away from Fraser Discovery Trail. We're gonna make a pit stop at the gift shop for stickers and a bathroom break. You didn't have to tell them that part. Well, we're that's... keeping it real in here. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the actual camping store at the campground and there's tons of camping supplies here. It's got like lights, water, fire sticks, stove. Yeah, propane. It's a mat. It's like, it's a, yeah, they have all this stuff. And then there's like essentials, like food essentials as well. Easy camping meals. Sardines. Bring us back to Portugal. Lisbon. <laughs> Ew, it's kind of gross. Okay, this is a must. We're, we're doing it. If you know us, this is this is the goods. What? This is, Oh, you want that? Okay, well, I want this. Yes, tall boy. This is the best thing ever. Okay, keeping it real with you guys, we've decided to uh, skip out on the next hike and go back to camp, take advantage of these tall boys and hang out by the fire. This is like our first like actual vacation in so long. We actually took Thursday and Friday off, which was great. So we're embracing the vacation vibes. And since the trail, Fraser Discovery Trail is literally right down the road from our campsite. We're gonna go do that tomorrow morning. Somebody a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's down for the count. Okay, we got chips and salsa. I'm gonna go get my beer out of the car and we're gonna make a fire hang out outside. No. Wait, there's still some in there. <laughs> That's great. I have a napkin. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. What? The stink bug went away. I'll find it. It was on the inside. Oh, 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 he's right here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get Hold him. on. Where are you going? Are you getting firewood? Oh, this is 9%. What is mine? Oh, are you kidding me? Let me try it. He's gonna get drunker than me, that's not fair. Oh, oh, Mojo! Are you ready to come out? Come on! Oh gosh, there is a bee that really, oh my God, it's in my face! The fallen soldier. <gasps> Wait here, this is a good boy. Yeah! So they're pretty strict about dogs being on leashes here, which totally understandable. There is so much wildlife here. Like we've seen at least 15 deer. It's like a family of three that's all over the place, like right here all the time. And there's black bears. So they just don't want dogs and bears and deer getting in a kerfuffle. So gotta keep them on a leash. We've already gotten yelled at once. Mojo is just, has separation anxiety, doesn't go anywhere. Right, Mojo. We're just ready for an adventure. All right, so we've had another slow start to the morning because it's also Sunday and we leave tomorrow. So I have a very, very busy week as you'll see in the next video. So I was trying to like plan everything out. Day got away from me, but it's like 10, I think. It's about 
10.04 and we're about to head out on our final hike of the trip. I'm super excited. It's literally right down the road. It's the one we didn't do yesterday. And then we'll come back and I'll give you a little tour of the campsite. It's a little too intoxicated for that last night, to be perfectly honest. So I'm excited to show you guys around. And yeah, I'm really excited. Let's go. Okay, so we parked at the gift shop, basically. That's like where the parking lot is. And right across the street, here is the trail. You can see the sign right there. The trail's right across the street. And then over here is the entrance to the Loft Mountain Campground. So that's how close it is. And it's one of the must-dos. So if you stay at this park or at this campground, then definitely do this hike. This hike is so freaking pretty. And it looks like we're at the top of the tree line right now, so I think we are coming up on Loft Mountain. Very excited. So is Mojo. Are you having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> well, this might be it. I'm not sure. Come here. Looks like a mountain overlook. hours and we're all cleaned up we actually had enough water to take showers because we're leaving tomorrow so we've been conserving water the last few days because as you will see there are no hookups at this campsite but we still have one third less left of the fresh and we got two thirds full of gray so we're dumping everything tomorrow morning when we leave but we also did a big clean a big deep clean which is always so satisfying obviously we still have some dishes out but this is all nice and clean Look how clean of Dylan is! Obviously Mojo did nothing. Mojo? Hey, Mojo. It's the ultimate freeloader. She's just here. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because we're actually planning to film, finally, the ultimate tour of the trailer. As you can see, we did a ton of renovations. This entire desk was not in existence when we first bought the trailer. It was initially a, like another mini couch that folds out into a bed, but we converted it into a desk and then we also like painted everything and just really transformed it. So definitely excited to film that. So make sure you're subscribed so you can see that. But before we go head out, because we're heading to a brewery for this evening we are going to get we're going to give you a little campsite tour because i absolutely love this campsite but there are a few things that you definitely need to know before coming so we'll show you around our site and then around the grounds a little bit as well okay so this is our site we are in site a73 this is a pretty big campsite so sites a through g are all available, some for tent only, and then some for RVs. All of the red letters are reservable sites, so you can reserve those ahead of time. And then all of the other ones are first come, first serve, so you kind of just show up. We actually reserved our site a few months ago, and it was in the G loop, I think it was G182. We showed up and <laughs> took like 25 minutes to try and get the trailer in there, and it just was not going to work. Just really, really skinny. It was not level. It was very, very hard to get into, so we ended up switching to over here in the A loop and this is much better really really flat and easy to get to but that's just something to note you know this campsite I wouldn't say it's super favorable for massive rigs we've seen some and I'll show you around there's a couple fifth wheels there are a lot of teardrops a lot of like smaller air streams around here and then a lot of tents so that all to say we are absolutely loving our site um, so over here we have a picnic table we've been cooking a few things outside because that's just the vibes every site comes equipped with a fire pit so we've been hanging out here a lot and dog doesn't come with it the dog does not come with it unfortunately i know you're all sad to hear that like i mentioned there are no hookups so i don't think there's hookups anywhere obviously you know come prepare there is a dump site that we'll show you tomorrow that we're gonna go to it has potable water to fill up it also is a dump site we have been hooked up pretty much solely to dylan's truck so i'll let him take it away and show you that a little bit one thing i will say for internet here even though we both were on vacation and still just wanted to watch some netflix at night is Starlink is literally a necessity here. It only has like one bar of Verizon here. I haven't really tried out any of the other hotspots that we have, but Starlink has been like impeccable here. It just works every single time. So you can see we have our cable running into the trailer here, but just a quick test here for Starlink and for basic streaming and anything like this works perfect. You can kind of see I only have one bar of Verizon right here, but even right now, 15 megabytes is more than enough. First thing in the morning, it's like 150, 200, which is like crazy up here. But again, like that's probably like the easiest way to get internet up here. Mm -hmm. And then as for powering the trailer, we do have a generator that can run both on propane and gas, which 
you've seen this trusty guy in some of our other videos. But because of the truck that I have, it has a built-in generator, so as you can see, the cable that's running out, and honestly, it's been probably like the best thing ever, because they have quiet hours after 10 o'clock, and the truck is basically quiet because it's a hybrid truck, so we're able to use power beyond 10 o'clock just because of how quiet the truck is, and it's just reliable. So this fifth wheel right here is probably one of the biggest rigs I've seen in this area, and they're just a few steps down from where we are, so the A parts of the A section are definitely good for bigger rigs. It's $30 a night for everyone, pretty sure for tent or RV because it's no hookups. And if you come here on any time except for Friday through Sunday, you have a really good chance being able to drive around and pick your spot. So we got here on a Thursday and like I said earlier, we couldn't fit into the spot that we initially reserved. So we just got to drive around all of the non-reservable spots and pick which one we like the best. Another thing, if you're staying at a tent site, I'm pretty sure all of them have either a bear container like this one and or a string to hang your bear bag from. So that's just something to note as well. There's a lot of wildlife in the area. I haven't seen any bears yet, but apparently the black bears love to come out and uh, try to find your food. So just make sure you lock it up, obviously. And we didn't use it on this trip because like I said, we were able to conserve enough water, but there are several bathhouses throughout this campsite with hot water showers and spigots for if you want to like fill up your water jug or whatever. So we're obviously heading out now, but we've been walking to this amphitheater, but we just drove here to show you. Basically, you can walk through. There are a few trails as well that are really, really, really pretty, and they lead you out to the amphitheater, and this is by far the best place to watch the sunset in the campsite. It's absolutely stunning, and again, lots of wildlife. We've seen a ton of deer over in this area. Apparently, this store is one of the only places in the park where you can get firewood, so if that's something you need they have a ton of it here and you would have saw us come here yesterday They just have some essentials like grocery essentials camping essentials If you don't have something they probably have it They have things as much as sleeping bags here and that's about it for the Lost Mountain campground tour I guess the main thing to note is that it is at least an hour drive from some of the most popular Trails in the park including old rag. I mentioned this earlier in the video But the reason we didn't do this is because mojo dogs are not allowed on that trail. And now where are we headed, Delone? To get some beer and s'mores. What is it called? The Sunset and s'mores. Sunset and s'mores. Yep, so we're heading to one of the nearby towns. It's about an hour drive to get to this brewery, but we kind of just wanted to switch it up since we've been at camp a majority of this weekend. <laughs> wow. Thank you, sir. What'd you get? Something very unhealthy. <laughs> very southern. Look at that. <sighs> That's Smash all. Smash burger, pimento cheese, bacon. Wow. Mm. I got the vegan barbecue sandwich. We got some mac and cheese, and I had to get a salad because there was no french fries, and I didn't want anything else. And because I'm the best dog mom ever, we couldn't have food without you having food too much. So the deal is that you get an entree and then they give you a s'mores pack. We're gonna be making s'mores after this. I need like a knife. Crosby is the queen of messy meals, by the way. I know, I make a mess no matter what it is. What have you done? Splurged. <laughs> I may have made a mistake. I don't know if my stomach's gonna like me for this. <laughs> yeah? That is so good. Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> this is insane! Alright. It's okay. Mojo, what the heck? Well, good morning, everyone. Obviously, we didn't end up doing s'mores at the brewery last night. We we're gonna bring it back here and do a fire here, but we got back and we're a little exhausted. So we ended up just laying and watching Better Call Saul. Um, but now it's about like 8, 15, 8, 20 right now. 
and we are making a break for it. Dylan's getting all the stabilizers up currently. It is Monday. Technically I took off today, but I have so much work to do before this coming weekend because I'm meeting up with a ton of my friends for my birthday. So we are going to head out of here. Dylan has a call at 10. We have loved it here, so I'm kind of sad to be leaving, but I'm really excited for the next like week, week and a half. Lots is going to be happening. He's shaking. Ew. Those are my lar- no. <laughs> Dylan's having way too much fun at the dump right now. Stop looking at it. Okay, so now we are off and we are heading down to North Carolina. We got about a four hour drive in front of us, but I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, which I hope you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out and make sure to subscribe to join the Rookies on the Road fam and stay tuned for more future adventures. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.